Reserve. Yes, sir. My name is Ken Vicchio. Um, there was recently a reduction in the size limit to Holston, Boone, and Watauga. Is there any biological uh, study since the reduction to show an impact on their fishery? I would like to know that. And, it, uh, and also one other question. Wasn't there a uh, comment you made earlier that you requested a month or something that, that you would have some uh, information that you would be able to, to uh, gather up? And I'm, I'm only assuming from that comment that there was previous uh, research. Bobby, you want to address that? Okay, what was the first question again? The first question was, have you done a study? Okay, okay. Ho South Holston and, yeah, yes. okay. Yeah, South Holston and Boone and Watauga uh, have a 15 inch length limit on smallmouth bass, but especially uh, South Holston and Watauga, they're smallmouth bass lakes, kind of like Dale Hollow Lake and Norris. They're not really largemouth bass lakes. They're going to do, they're going to be different. Sir, if you want to stand up here, you, you direct your comments to us. He's just answering your question, okay? I'm sorry. That, Go ahead. We're listening. Well, okay. It's so, but Douglas and Cherokee uh, and even Fort Loudoun more largemouth bass oriented lake. There are smallmouth bass in there. There's smallmouth bass in Kentucky Lake. But Kentucky Lake is more of a largemouth bass lake. So they, they, they're just different. They're different lakes. The, the populations react differently. But we've not done any, um, I'm not sure I can't speak, uh, Bart or John, you'll have to, Help me out here for South Holston and and Watauga. Excuse me, you would come to the mic, state your name, and let let me. I'll interject here. I opened up this meeting saying that if you want to address the commission, raise your hand, come front, state your name, and at no time have conversation back and forth directed to the chairman. I'm not going to tolerate arguing, but That's I, I, apology accepted. So let's run the meeting clean and we'll all be here as long as you want to be, but let's do it the right way. I'm John Hammonds, I'm the Re Region 4 Reservoir Biologist and uh, the question was about the response of the smallmouth um, population to the 15 inch limit. Um, like Mr. Wilson said that those are smallmouth lakes, um, the overwhelming majority of the the population in those lakes are comprised of smallmouth. Um, we've not seen a reduction in the size structure um, from that size limit change, but um, just like Bobby said, you know, they're Douglas and those lakes are, are largemouth lakes. So I guess that's the answer to that question. We have not seen a reduction in the, in the, in the size population. Okay, I requested a I'm the one who requested the public meeting in Knoxville um, and to discuss this situation. Uh, can you, uh, com Commissioner West, can you tell me um, where uh, you got, where all, you guys said you'd handle all the publication to get it out to the public so that make sure they'd know to be able to attend the public meeting. Back a month ago, you, you <laughs> instructed me that's the steps I needed to take. Can you tell me where all we made this public so that everybody could, uh, could so just so the commission knows that there was a, a meeting held and, and that was up to the agency to publish that for me. I, I, and at the August commission meeting is when you made the request. Uh, by the time we were able to secure a location and uh, to have the public meeting, um, Bart's getting ready to come up here and answer that question because he's the one, Bart Carter is the one who, who made the, uh, put the information out to announce uh, and publicize the public meeting. So Bart, you might want to come up and answer that question. I'm Bart Carter, I'm the Regional Fisheries Coordinator. We did have a public meeting on September 30th in Knoxville. And um, I requested that uh, Matt Cameron, which he's, he's our I&E coordinator for the region, uh, solicit uh, papers, local newspapers, and there is Knoxville News Sentinels, not Johnson City Press. And who else, Matt? Uh, Sweetwater Times. Um, uh, the Morristown paper, all, all of those agreed to run uh, public notice so that we could get, uh, you know, the public informed as to where and when we were going to have that meeting. And uh, as far as you know, those were, were carried out. Yeah, I didn't see them personally, but they all said that they were. Uh, I 
apologize for not being able to say for sure. So we did make the attempt, and the papers agreed to run our public notice uh, that we had produced, uh, announcing the time and location for that meeting. So, so if we decide to to roll a decision about this proclamation. I mean, how quick can y'all get it out, and, and and what means and manners do you? Well, we suggest? can we can go back to those same sources again. Another alternative is that mm -hmm. uh, to ensure that it is run. Uh, Should it be statewide? Even though it's just this affected area, I mean, what's your thoughts? Should well, I think statewide. I mean, I don't, I'm just asking. Should it be? Yeah, I think it should be statewide, but really focus on this area for sure. If we can. I mean, right. is there ways to put publications in the, you know, the bait shops and, and you know, hang stuff at least get the word out there? I mean, I mean, if we're gonna do it and we're gonna roll this thing, you know, I want to make sure that the public is is apprised of it, and we're gonna get the people that that are you know, or have an opinion to make sure they do it. You know, it's just, well, I think we want, we want them to write letters, not call the commission. Right. Uh, <laughs> foremost, it needs to be on the front page of our website. Huh? It needs to be on the front page of our website so it's immediately seen there. And then we can, of course, um, if it is, is a statewide campaign, we can, we can uh, try to hit those media outlets uh, across the state. And Matt can work with I'm not going to commit you, but I, I assume Matt can work with the other i &E coordinators across the state to, to get that out. Okay. Are we allowed to notify through, let's, you, you, you're a licensed, purchase a license. Are we allowed to, as an agency, to go to that, that purchaser, that, that uh, sportsman, uh, on their website or however we do as far as the IT stuff is there a way are we allowed to do those kind of things are we allowed to go to inform them like for instance on our app and those kind of things that we service the sportsman with anyway uh, c contact them individually yeah I is there a such thing as that we should be able That's to do a, an email blast to do uh, I guess Don King sportsman. might be able to answer that one better is it okay to answer from back here <laughs> That's that's my we yeah. can certainly uh, uh, put it out through our through our uh, email blast to them. Okay. Okay. So it is legal. It is yes. something we are able to do. Yes. Great. Okay. Thank you. All right. Is there any other comments from the commission or on? Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Jeff Burrell. I was just going to ask, is this is going to be on a popular vote, or is this going to be a biological decision? Oh, we don't ever do popular votes. I mean, you're asking about a survey, about the, the survey is not going to determine what, but we don't want to pass anything that, that the public's not apprised that we're considering it. But it doesn't mean that, that we still make decisions based on biology and, and what's going to protect the resource. Okay. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Uh, along that line, Bobby, where are we on the biology? Take Douglas Lake, for example, and maybe you've answered this before and I just didn't understand it. In order for you to make a recommendation for or against a proposal, do you need more time to do uh, more biologic, biological studies? We do on Cherokee and Fort Loudon Teleco on smallmouth. I think, uh, according to Bart and John Hammond's we, we have adequate information on smallmouth at Douglas from this past year. And based on that information with regard to Douglas, you, you, you are opposed to the amendment? Well, we were, in, we were considering a reduction in the current regulation anyway of 20 inches. Well, I, I'm not saying we're, ne we're necessarily opposed to it. We, our stance has just been, we'd just like to get some more information. We'd like to get, uh, public feedback and then announce it f for public comment. That's, that's how, that's been our stance the whole long, the whole time. We're not necessarily defending the regulation as it is now. Well, on the other reservoirs, how much time would you need to, uh, 
um, adequately study the issue in terms of the impact on the on the quantity of the fish and the size and so forth. I think we we feel pretty comfortable that we can get uh, most of the information we need this spring, as well as the, the creel information too, the survey information. Maybe not by May, but some May or June. Well, the reason for my question is, it seems to me that pub certainly public comment is important and it's needed, but the public needs to be informed, as do we, as to the biology of the situation. And and I, I'm not a member of the fisheries uh, committee, but it just strikes me that. I don't, I don't feel as though I have enough information at this point uh, to, to really address the issue. Uh, and I, I, I question whether any member of the public would have the information uh, to adequately address the issue. Um, I guess I would be in favor of, of allowing the time to have the issue studied so that, so that our biologists can say, if we do this, this is the impact we predict. We think it will have this effect as to the population uh, of the fish and their size. Right. Thank you, Commissioner Ripley. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. I would like to uh, make an amendment to the amendment that's on the floor <laughs> right now that we only consider Douglas Lake only and then give us time to adequately study these other lakes before we make a decision on those. So if we roll the proclamation, it would just be so that we could get public opinion on the Douglas Lake as far as reducing the size limit from 20 to 15? Correct. Okay. Do I have a second for that? Second. All right. So we have two, two amendments. Do you wish to vote on your amendment or do you want to withdraw yours and go with? I'll, I'll withdraw my my amendment and go with David's till the agency's okay. got more time on the other two. Okay, so we have an amendment on the floor. Um, and I guess what we need to do then is what we're trying to decide is what we want for publication uh, as far as what we're considering. So we really don't need to vote on it, correct? Or do we need to vote on that? Rick, state the motion, please. David, you state your motion. Just, I'll just leave out the two, just state it on Douglas Lane. That you're okay, Douglas. Like that, you're you're reducing the size from twenty, to, from 20 to fifteen. Right. All right. So, considering that, but we're not really voting on it today. We're rolling everything. Correct. Am I right? Excuse correct. Me. Which, but, hmm? You're well, amending the proclamation. If you amend it and vote on it, then you don't just roll the whole proclamation no. out. Of that. What, what, we, what, what? Well, you, we're not going to vote on the proclamation until we give public comment. Correct. Correct. How about we so, just move to roll the whole but, proclamation? But we need to give direction to the agency of what we want to put out there that we're considering. Correct. I think you have a couple of three options. One, you can withdraw all the amendments. Vote the proclamation is as it stands with the public knowledge that you're going to come back with a possible amendment at the December meeting. You, you can go that route, and or you can pass it. If uh, Commissioner Baker withdrew his, his motion, and I'm assuming Commissioner uh, Stroud withdrew his second, so that, that motion's off the table. So the one that's left would be to only take this, the size limit, and I'm assuming the creel limit was part of that as well, on, on Douglas. So if you, if you vote that amendment in, and then pass the proclamation, it's done. We don't do that. So, it's okay. well, your, your I other think we option need to is vote to on the proclamation and put out to the public that we're considering an amendment. Oh, I'm sorry, you got a third? Well, yeah, but there's no issue going through that part. But I just, I think the easier way to do it, if, assuming there's trust among the commission, I know that there is, it pass the proclamation it is with, with the notice that you're gonna have a possible amendment at the December meeting. All right. would, it, would it not be easier just to roll the whole proclamation? You, that's, that's, that's the third option. I think that's what you're going to do. I like that a little bit. Well, and, and I'm going to make see, today is non binding. It's not done. This is just a committee. So, whatever we do in committee, it would still, if we vote, would have to go to full commission tomorrow. But, that's correct. And so, therefore, 
I'm just going to go ahead and ask for a vote from the Fishery Committee to recommend Proclamation 1417. Okay. Okay. All right. And then with the with the and then we'll decide tomorrow. Okay. All right. Do I have a motion to? Does that include? Does that include his amendment? No, because we're going to amend it in December because we got to amend it after we get public comment. But you just have to trust us that we're going to do that. He'll have to withdraw. <laughs> You're from Bristol. Do you trust me or not? <laughs> Mr. Mr. Chairman, he, uh, Commissioner Watson will have to uh, withdraw. withdraw. Or withdraw. his second will have to withdraw. Okay, but we're going to give direction to the agency of what we want the publication to state that we're considering, correct? Okay. Yes, All right. sir. All right, do I have a motion to, uh, from the Fisheries Committee for Proclamation 1417, Sport Fishing? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All right, any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? All right, but pass this from committee. What about, we got other business to talk about now? Mm -hmm. You talking about in fisheries? Yes, sir. Bobby? 